What is going on everybody? My name is Mehul and welcome to your second WordPress theme development tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you pretty much how to set up WordPress on your local machine so that you can just start off with your theme development because, you know, if you were thinking to buy a server for just theme development and pay rental charges per month or yearly, well, that's kind of expensive and it does not require at all when you can have WordPress on your computer itself. Well, to do that, I'm going to make use of this ZAMP. Now, just go to Google and type ZAMP download. You can just do that and you'll land on the same page at which I am on. Well, that's a bit different, but anyways. So, once you are here, apashfriends.org slash index.html, just choose the appropriate version. For example, I'm gonna go with this XAMPP for Windows. You might want to go with XAMPP for Linux or for OS X on whatever operating system you are on. And you can just download this XAMPP for PHP 7 as well. I guess I probably have this one only. So once you are done with it, well, you would get an executable file and because I already have installed XAMPP, so I'm not gonna download it again. But what you have to do with that executable file is just open it and just click on next, next, next. And for Linux, I guess you have to make use of terminal to make it executable and then run it from terminal. And for OS X, I don't have any idea, so you guys might know it better than me because I haven't tried, you know, OS X very much for now. So the next thing once you have installed XAMPP is you just open and uh, I remember that on Linux it's actually comes as LAMP instead of XAMPP so you might want to take a look at that because earlier I downloaded something known as LAMP on my Ubuntu and it was pretty much similar to XAMPP and it had a GUI interface as well so anyways you get the idea how to install it so once you have downloaded it what you want to do is run this Apache module now this would give you access to PHP and this MySQL module this would be our database which WordPress would be using alright now once you get this green border around both of these that means these both are running on your local host but if you sort of get a red background or text in red in here that means probably most probably that your port number 80 or 443 is occupied by some another application and it probably would be skype only because skype works on port 80 or port 443 or might be you have you are running a game which is making use of these ports so you might want to change the ports right here you can just go ahead uh, in the configuration I guess in services and ports you can just change it right here and uh, pretty much you'll be good to go or you could just exit those applications for XAMPP only because once you start XAMPP and XAMPP occupies these ports then when you start the other applications they would automatically search for some vacant ports available so that might not be a problem well the next thing once you have started is just go to localhost and see how the thing is working so if you go to localhost it would redirect you to slash dashboard and if you see something like this then congratulations you have installed XAMPP correctly and if you don't then probably there's a sort of a problem with your installation or while starting your module so you might want to check that out well once you're done with this then go to wordpress.org and remember this is .org there's a site.com as well because both of these sites are different. .com is a free website which doesn't actually allow you to pretty much install plugins and uh, do a lot of stuff because it runs on their own server. So we're gonna make use of WordPress.org instead of .com. So just click here, download WordPress and just download the latest version of WordPress, whatever it is. and uh, just let it download 
So once it's downloaded, just open the zip file and uh, go to the directory in which you want to install WordPress. In this case, it would be actually your C drive XAMPP 7. It would be 7 if you download the PHP 7.1 then go to your htdocs folder this folder contains all the files which are public so anything you place in here can be accessed using localhost and right here just create a new folder which says uh, wp let's just name it wp only so this wp folder and uh, you could actually pretty much just get all of that content instead of that WordPress directory because we are already in WP folder so now you can see we have got a bunch of stuff but we are missing a thing right now as I told you we need to have database with WordPress so just go to localhost PHP my admin and using this interface you can create a database for your WordPress installation just click on new here and uh, write your database name let's just say this is WP uh, tutorials and uh, let's just uh, name it something else let's just say this is WP only sounds good and create now you don't need to do anything just create a blank database WordPress would automatically take care of the stuff now just go to your WP config and you will find a file named wp-config-sample.php so just edit it with any text editor and right here we need to make a little bit of changes so db name is wp username would be root for our case as you can see right here it says me you are connected as root with no password which corresponds to default mysql privileged account so you can actually change this as well but for localhost i don't think you need to unless you are extremely careful so db user would be root and password would be blank host would be localhost car set udf8 is good and collate don't change this if in doubt so okay then for unique phrase here I don't need we need to I don't know we need to change this I don't think so so actually we are pretty much done here but the one last thing we need to do is change this WP config to WP config actually instead of that WP config sample okay so now we are pretty much done with it now again let's just go to localhost slash wp which is a directory of wordpress so now you can see we get a nice little wordpress installation dialog box right here just select your language which you want to install then it gives us some sort of steps so let's just say my site title would be codan wp tester username let's just say mehul and then password you all know this so there's no need to worry about let's just name it root only and uh, confirm use of weak password yes I do confirm it your email let's just give the authentic one and uh, pretty much we don't need this because search engine won't even you know index our local host so just click on install WordPress and give it a few seconds and uh, right now it's just querying tables and stuff so it says me now success that WordPress has been installed so now login with mehul as the username and root as the password login as you can see I am on my own WordPress which is set up on localhost on and this is not a live website at all but it behaves pretty much just like one so that's a very great thing about WordPress you can just test it on your computer itself without purchasing expensive hosting and once you are ready with your website you can just take this whole thing live on your server without any hassle 
so for taking it live actually you just need to copy files to your server and for database you can just export your database from here and and then import it on your server so that's some job for some other tutorial but for now we are done with wordpress installation and from the next tutorial onwards we're gonna pretty much start off with wordpress theme development so if you like this tutorial then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching